All right. Jackie, how's it going? I, I've been all right. I um, I took a little bit of a hiatus from streaming. It wasn't exactly planned, but it was definitely one of those things where I was just like, all right, I'm going to stay off Twitch. I'm going to focus on platinuming Kingdom Hearts 3 and then come back and just be kind of chill about the whole thing. I am doing great, though. How are you doing tonight? Boy. By the way, thank you for the fresh subscription. That is a great way for me to come back. It's like, hey, first two and a half minutes, I have a third month subscription. That makes me feel awesome. Oh, and I got a trophy, like, right off the bat. And I haven't even touched this game since, I don't know, like, it's been at least three weeks. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts happened. That's totally what happened. Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, and it took over my life, and I haven't played anything else. Uh, I dropped over 60 hours into the game. Uh, not a new book, new story. Um, I've been working on a lot of short fiction lately, so I just submitted a story for an anthology, uh, and I will hopefully hear about that, uh, next month, and then I'm working on editing another story that might get adapted for a podcast, like, anthology show, and I'll probably release the, uh, story directly to Kindle if that comes out. So... Not the new novel. The new novel is kind of on standby, and I'm probably going to be getting back to that soon. Because uh, I really need to, but there's a lot of, like, side shit going on right now. So, that is a thing. I have no idea where I'm going, though. Let's see. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, so I'm at Braithwaite Manor. I, I talked to What's-Her-Face and delivered a letter last time I played. So that is a thing. Let's go. Let's go see Bo. Let's continue this whole Romeo and Juliet bullshit thing they've got going here. So what have you been playing more of lately, Friday or Dead by Daylight? Hey, Sydney, how's it going? I was uh, I actually had my Xbox on earlier, using it for Hulu, and saw that you were trying out Apex Legends. How is that? That's fair. Uh, how how are the changes to Friday, Jackie? Because uh, I haven't really played since like right before the update hit. I've heard it's. Uh, a lot harder to fuck up Jason's world. I'm gonna go to cinematic camera. Make this look all nice and chill here. 
Oh yeah, I, I imagined it probably was like I saw the one change where uh, they were gonna make it to where Jason could like hit multiple counselors at the same time, and I was like, oh, that would be so much easier for me, but so much harder on the group. Um, Sydney, as far as Apex goes, I haven't played it or anything like that, but it looks interesting. It looks like it's uh, fairly fast paced too. I was not expecting a uh, Titanfall-esque game to come out for Battle Royale. Yeah, it doesn't have the mechs, but still. Alright, let's see here. Let's go around this side. I might. Um... I've got PUBG downloaded on my Xbox and I hardly touch it. I think I've played like three or four games of it. So the fact that I've paid for a Battle Royale game versus a free one, I, I feel like I would be doing myself a disservice to not play PUBG more. <laughs> I just have so many games to play. Uh, it's it's kind of ridiculous. My goal is to try to get through some of my uh, actual physical disc first. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, World of Versus? I, I'm going to slap somebody for sure. I also have to remember how to play this game because I have spent over 60 hours platinuming trophy if that's even a phrase getting the platinum trophy for Kingdom Hearts 3 so pay attention to me you got my money sure did she give anything for me yes might I have it sure but it'll cost you uh I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. I'm assuming you have been going through Kingdom Hearts 3 as well, uh, World of Versus. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. We'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Fuck. Gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. I swear, like, this game plays it serious, and then they pop out with lines like that about the incest, where I'm just like, Jesus. Um, honestly, everyone is, like, really, like, upset about the story, and I actually didn't have a problem with it, like... I kind of feel like everyone was building the story up to be something that it couldn't have been just because we've been waiting on the game for so long. Like, it wasn't going to live up to anyone's expectations. So when I was playing it, I was just keeping an open mind. Um, and I wasn't, fully, I wasn't expecting it to fully resolve everything. Yeah, you, you did tell me to smack those inbreds. You absolutely did. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Oh. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. 
Do something, please. Now, what? Fight this mob. We must. Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need to. Hey, Deadpool clown. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing tonight? My family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. <laughs> God, Bo is just like. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. And here we go. We'll mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food now, we now. fetch. Take a step Man, it's street. gonna go really Run slow down, too. To the steps of the back of road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear. Jackie, are you still with us? We'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan. Um are you an old I get what you mean by that world, but I actually felt thematically the worlds actually fit really well the story they were building up to. Because uh, I felt like a lot of the worlds were doing like this theme of loss. Like half the worlds like someone nearly dies or does die or something along those lines. And the type of story that they were telling in the main line story with Xehanort and everything else. It was building to that the whole time. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't played the game. Uh, not saying specifics, but... I thought it was interesting just from, like, a storytelling perspective how a lot of that fed back into each other. Wow, that was a spectacular journey on the wagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equal. Oh, I miss what you said about Ignis. Um, this is unnatural. It, it, it was definitely one of those moments where I was just like, God, it's a Final Fantasy 15 echo all over again. No, Nomura was not involved in that game whatsoever. I feel like um, Square Enix is doing that in a lot of games lately, too, because they did it in uh, I Am Setsuna as well. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you Ooh. doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining this. Yeah. There needs to be a set mic option. There needs to be a lot of options. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh. Come on. Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Will you hurry up and get on your horse, man? It's not that hard. You don't want to go back? Hear the speech? <laughs> Oh, I'll just shoot them in the face. It'll be okay. If I remember how to shoot in this game. It's been long enough to where I'm not sure if I'll remember all the controls properly. Although, I'm getting it for the most part. Oh my god. Oh, 
He's right. It's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites. We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know. And Penelope said, uh, I, "I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold." But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. That's besides the are point. Vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. Of course I they do. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Well, is that what they call it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make oh. her better. I, gotta I will uh, keep that in mind. Oh, damn, I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. I really do need to look up how long this game is, hours wise, on average. So I imagine it's gonna take me forever to get through the game at the. Uh, rate I've been playing it. Alright, so that's done. Lenny. Yeah, I was thinking as much. Plus, it's a matter, too, of how much of the side stuff you do and everything else. I seriously doubt I'll come close to doing even two-thirds of what's in this game by the time I'm done. That's the thing about open-world games. It's so easy to just overlook things or get overwhelmed by how much there is. But, you know what? I'm going to go see if I can go see Black Bell, because... I've been putting that off for a while now. It's so easy to just be like, hey, that is way the fuck out there. I don't want to ride that far. <laughs> like, half this game is just riding around, I feel like. I keep thinking about going back and playing some Final Fantasy 15 again here soon. Like, I've got all that DLC that I haven't even touched for the most part. Plus, like, there's still stuff in the main world I could play. Like, I beat the story, but there's still so much to that game I could do. that and there are so many other RPGs to play. Shit. 
Where is my gun? For some reason, like, I, I was, thought I was pulling my gun and nothing. Like, I wasn't getting a reticle or anything along those lines. Like, I didn't finally manage to get a shot off until after they were already shooting me. But it's okay. Video game logic, I'm back. Yeah. I doubt I'll be playing the game over again just because there's still plenty I can do in the environment on my first playthrough. Uh, plus, I I'm curious about the multiplayer uh, comrades section of the game because I've never even so much as opened it. And from what I can tell, it looks like almost another full game or mini game that you can do just based on the multiplayer side that they released. I just felt like the development team was just like, hey, let's put as much shit into this game as possible. Getting there. Are you what the hell in at me? I'm just riding my horse by you. No need for that nonsense. Wow, this isn't creepy at all out here. Indeed, I saw that. Um I, I understand, you know, hey, the director left, but at the same time, like, you know they had to have had quite a bit of that DLC already ready to go. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I thought they were milking it, but I was actually really interested to see what the alternate ending to the game was going to be like. So, I was kind of split on the whole season two of DLC to begin with. Um, I'm interested in the book, though. Um, of course, I have plenty of things to read to begin with, but that's beside the point. That's what happens when you pretty much have your own library. Oh my god, just stop. Just... Oh my... Proof that I haven't played this in a while. I, I can't stop my own horse. Yeah, I deserve that. It's like, oh my god, stop the horse, stop the horse. Wipe out. Don't mind me, I'm just walking up here in dead of night. Gonna say hi. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. 
Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I ain't running from them neither. I'm fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. I like that Come line. Here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Yeah, seriously. dead he's dead I gotta say, I'm digging this music right now. Nah, they don't have families. I think she got him before I could. Oh. Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah. So they say, but uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that's that true. life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm going to need your picture, too. <laughs> yeah. Trouble. No, sir. No trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. Most definitely. <laughs> Great. Look, you stand over there. Uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Yep. Okay. I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> that one went much better. Like the other guy I went up to uh, 
question. I ended up killing Helm and blew up a bunch of manure in the process. By the way, where the hell is my horse? There the hell is my horse. Oh, well that's good to know at least. So all the others are going to try to kill me. Good to know. Come on. There's a bait shop. All right. Yep. All right, world. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in.
Okay, here we go. Keep hearing these animal sounds around. I'm just like, what? Well, you're something to look at, friend. I need medicine. Damn. What happened to you? My insides. Is it all cold? Tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can, you can say that again. Come on now, boy. Oh, come on. Who? Hey, 
and on we go. It's me, Arthur. Good to see you back, Arthur. I'm sure Pearson can make you something out of that. Well, come on. Yeah. Okay, Reverend. Morning, Mister. I guess that I am just some tired old Yankee dreamer in a world I no longer understand. That's so. I am starting to think so. I am starting to fear so. All right. I don't think you'll really convince anyone you're a lawman, Arthur. Feel myself. He's starting to get sick. Out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? 
I just get so angry about everything, about how this is gonna end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Well, that was interesting. There he is. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got some. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way, on me. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. <laughs> well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily. Early notice. All respect. Mr. Morgan, you wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, hell no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does.
feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. That's interesting, to say the least. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Just give the word. You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. Have all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be! <laughs> now, I come in peace 
to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be my people. Just a moment longer. Are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, Praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Got anything? Oh, yeah. Anything? Still nothing. Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? I 
Think we should search the crates, Arthur? Search him. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. We don't want to tip it out here. We need to get these back. Coming our way. Okay. Keep a cool head. What's the black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him, and not you neither, Yankee! Get these lying bastards! I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment, just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Enough but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this game. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. Keep one, just from me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. I'm still confused by this little man. Look. <laughs> Good evening, Arthur. 
So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes. He's got some plan cooking. Arthur! So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Evening. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> well, I guess. Even. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. It always gets better. That's what adults say. Evening, Arthur. How are you? Evening. Hey. Hi, Taylor. Evening. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly.
Alright, that's going to be about it for me tonight.